boys and girls and happy Sunday. Welcome again to Children Church here at Bronxwood International Church of God. I am your host, Sister Trisha, right? So I want you to go call your friends, tell them to log on because Children Church is about to begin. Woo! Now let's get into some praise and worship.
Praise God. Wow, those were some amazing praise and worship songs. I hope you were singing and dancing along with me as we give God the glory and the honor which is due unto his name. Amen? Awesome. Now today I'm excited because we get to bring you the fourth part of our series on the foundation of faith. Today, we're going to be learning about redemption. Redemption is defined as the act of saving or being saved from sin. It is being cleared of a debt, right? In this lesson, the Apostle Paul shares how each of us have been enslaved by sin and the cause for our freedom was more than any of us could ever afford. But Jesus in his love looked beyond our faults and he paid for us. He paid the price, he paid the ultimate price, which was his life. He died on the cross for us to redeem us from our sins so that we can be redeemed and we can be um, brought before his father, right? now. Let's take a closer look at today's lesson on redemption. God is perfect, completely holy, and also just. Anything that falls short of his perfection, his righteousness, is sin. His judgment is so precise that to be guilty of breaking even one of his commandments is to be guilty of breaking all. Nothing we can offer by way of gifts or good behavior can fix what sin has broken. We are altogether hopeless. But we will soon see that God is as merciful as he is just, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The Apostle Paul uses the word justification to describe this amazing and complete forgiveness of sin. But it came with a great price. The religious leaders could not find any crime against Jesus. Even so, they bound him and delivered him over to be killed, and the mob, filled with the hatred of their own rebellion, demanded he be crucified. The perfect Messiah stood mocked, blasphemed, spit upon, beaten, and falsely accused. Yet he stood quietly, prepared to give his life for the very people who despised him. As he hung between two thieves, the people continued to abuse and cast insults. Save yourself, they cried. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. But even with all the pain and abuse thrown at him, the worst rejection would not be from these enemies of God. It would come from being forsaken by his own father, who could not look on the sins that he was about to bear. Please forgive them, Jesus prayed, for they know not what they do. The offer and plea of forgiveness reached the ears of the two criminals. For one criminal, the offer fueled even more resentment and hatred. But for the other, it sparked a desire for peace and forgiveness. Do you not fear God? The remorseful criminal rebuked the first. We are both condemned and about to suffer what we deserve, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he turned to Jesus, the sorrow of his own sin moving him to repentance. Please, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. In that moment, the cries of the angry mob seemed to fade between the broken man and his Savior and mercy was freely given. In the sight of God, he would be justified. God would not see his sin, but would instead see the righteousness of Jesus made possible by his great sacrifice. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus died so that we could live. He faced God's anger against sin so that we could once again be children of God. And he paid the necessary price so that we could be set free from the slavery of sin and death. By faith in Jesus, we are eternally justified, no longer enemies of God, 
but instead, his precious children. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have been so good. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for paying the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Thank you for redeeming us and bringing us back so that we might be able to live eternally with you in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Anybody else thankful? We got to give God thanks for redeeming us, right? Amen, amen, amen. We want to thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you really enjoyed that lesson. Hope you learned a lot as we continue to study the foundation of our faith, right? Now, today's memory verse is taken from Romans chapter 6, verse 22. And it says, But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life amen wow that's awesome we now have eternal life because jesus has redeemed us oh wow i hope you really enjoyed that and i hope that all that you're learning today that you will tell somebody about it tell them about jesus tell them about how jesus sacrificed how he died and how he has saved us and redeemed us so that we can go to the father and we can live eternally amen thank you so much once again now before we go let's say a word of prayer Heavenly Father, we come in your presence and we thank you. Thank you for having mercy on us. Thank you for caring and loving us so much that you were willing to go to the cross, to die on the cross for our sins so that we could be redeemed, Lord God. Thank you for your salvation plan. Thank you that you cared. Even if it was only one of us, Lord God, you would have still continued. You would have still died on the cross for the very one who is in need, Lord Jesus. So thank you for dying for each of us. We pray for the boys and girls out there who may not know you. We pray that they will come to know you as their Lord and Savior. We pray for their parents and their loved ones that they would recognize that you have paid the price for them. It is for them, it's for me, it's for everyone around that you have died on the cross. We pray that we would accept you completely in our hearts, give you rule over our lives, that we can live with you eternally. We bless you. We pray that you'll keep us throughout this week as we give, give you thanks and praise for Christ's sake. Amen. All right. Thank you, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Bye.